So welcome to BSc Computer Science. Um, these are the courses for 100 level first semester BSc Computer Science. These are just information you need to know. It is a necessity. So you have to pay close attention here. These are your courses, right? You already know this. Some of you do. For 100 level first semester, these are compulsory. All of them are compulsory. And they are composed of 25 credit units. It is a requirement in this department that your 100 level first semester, you must carry and pass not just to carry them carry and pass these 25 credit unit classes all of them so if the portal says something otherwise and limits you to 24 units as it used to you would have to carry one course in the next semester in the following semester which will be second semester or somewhere in third semester at uh, third, uh, 300 level 200 level or 300 level because every second semester provides you an opportunity to register at least one carryover let's go to this let's okay before that here is your fee i've done the maths for your course material you pay this and for the exams you pay this for each course you'll be paying three hundred three thousand for one course this course here and in some courses it's three five because they have higher credit units i've explained this in some other old videos okay then if you come down here you would see the actual fee you are supposed to pay for first semester 100 level in this department seventy three thousand five hundred now second semester here you have it 100 level second semester these are your courses I shouldn't this GSTs because you can never ever ignore them. They must be done. Even those that enter through direct entry. Here we have four units. There are four units here, and in the previous one there are six. So you add them together, you have ten units. And you as a direct entry student, you add these ten units to other units you ac accumulate from 200 level and above. In the end I will show you the result okay so the same thing here have the same pattern here for three credit units you will be paying higher okay then and for second semester 100 level you'll be paying 54,500 and here anyway only 20 units are required of you to pass so you carry all of this if you failed, if as many you pass all of them except two, let's say two courses like this, uh, let's say statistics 102 is two units, and we also have physics, uh, which is uh, one unit, physics 192. So as many you fill these two courses, one, uh, 192 and 102, these two, uh, you still have made your 20 credit units for this semester. You have made it. So, and this is your fee. So we proceed to the next semester, which is 200 level first semester. 200 level first semester, you have these courses here. You still have some GSTs and all of them are required. 21 over 21. The tricky thing here is that you may not have extra courses to add to make it 24. It may not even be there. So you have to pass all of this. All of them. Carry them, pass them. That's why you have this 21 is required of you. And you have 21 here. And your fee is 44,500. That's the total fee you have to pay. You already know about the compulsory fee of 18,000 for returning sim as students and 36 for new, uh, for new students at 100 level. Alright, so we move to 
second semester 200 level here we are 200 level second semester you have these courses and you also have two more credit uh, GST courses and you are required to pass 15 units so you registered six so for 16 units so in this case you must pass all of them too yes and here are your fees as well your compulsory semester fee 18k and here you have your 40,000 for second semester 200 level as a fee then we'll move to 300 level first semester so here is where you register your IT IT is, is now registered as a project and it has six credit units the cost for registering IT is 10,000 on every department though, that offers it a teaching practice too so uh, then you have 50,500 as your fee. You are required to pass 22 courses from this semester, 300 level first semester. And you have 20, you have registered for 23, which means not, no, no, no course here is one unit, which means you must pass all of them too. You must pass all of these courses too. So we go to 300 level second semester and here are your courses too you have just three to business creation and growth there's a reason uh, now it's talking about entrepreneurship and these days in most time <laughs> and you can't be waiting for jobs you have to get the idea of some businesses you can start on your own when you graduate so it's very important this course is very important okay so you have forty five thousand as your fee and you must pass all these courses too. You are required to pass 22 courses, 22 credit units, and you register 22. So to increase your chances, if you if there's an, another course in your portal, you may add it. So if you if you eventually maybe fail one, that is not what well, that core. That means there's there is any elective here then you still have the opportunity to graduate successfully then we go to 400 level first semester here we are 400 level first semester you have seven courses this is these are the course titles the course codes you know all of this so you are required to pass 16 units and you registered 19 units so you have more chances to pass here and um, let's say you can only fill a maximum of one course here and you'll still be able to graduate safely so this is your course 41 500 the school fees for 400 level first semester so that's it and we have 400 level second semester okay um, you have uh, five courses with, including your project and you must pass all of these 16 of 16 because you are required look at this here you are required to pass 157 credit units for you to graduate however you have carried which is the ones you have registered 165 you have registered 165 credit units courses and you are required to pass 157 at least 157 for those that started from 100 level then for those that started from 200 level you are required to pass a minimum of 122 from 200 level you only have to go back pick the, the, the GST courses from 100 level add them and you are good to go for this department total credits end will now come from the, your results those are the ones you passed you carried 165 how many did you pass the ones you passed are they equal to the ones required or more they can be less they can't is expected to be either equivalent or more than this so that's why i had to outline this 
thank you for watching you can share this to other students in the same department especially for their own good every department will have a video like this to limit the confusion we have spreading everywhere some people will feel like they have graduated in the end they will not see their name they don't even know the causes the cause of uh, their problem and if you send email nobody will reply you and uh, let's just hope that stops here with this knowledge so you can watch the video as many times as you want provided you don't miss anything